the time. I've got my hands full here. It's um, nearly six. You guys have a lot of shit. Yeah, most of it is his. It's not shit. It's coherently gathered That's things. It's just shite. It's not shite. It's coherent. You want it for Beth on their first date? He thinks it's Aztec or something. It's not. It might be. It's not. Right, let me go get the rest of the stuff. Charlie, don't help or anything. Oh, so right, so right. You've got it. I'm only little. I'm a feminist. <laughs> I'm just going to go and help Harry with the stuff. Love you. Don't get something heavier than fucking Aku Aku there. All right, all right, easy. I'm, I'm going. Are you sure this isn't Aztec? Can you manage those? Yeah, I'm fine. Sure? Oh. 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 Don't be a hero, bro. I've got this one. Right, that's the lot then. And we are done. You're a lucky bastard. I could definitely use a place like this one day. What, you and Dion? Oh, aye. Uh, yeah, sure. Have you searched the place yet? For what? That's always my lesson behind. No. A stick of gum, a million pound, an old towel, a dead hamster. Oh, we do need to eat. Screw him. Let's have a look around. He bought it for me, you know. And, you know, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing? Oi! Love you! Nah, by the rule. What about yourself? Did you find something? No. Can we get up there? You absolute dancer. Well, I don't know. The, the estate agent said that the floor's not all that safe, so I don't think that's oh, really. You scared to make it a wee splinter. Calm yourself. I'll go up your maggot. Oh. Oh, here we go. Where are you going? Heads up! Old father time. Let me have a look. Is there anything else up there? Nothing but spiders, mate. And that is 15 minutes. I will not get back. Are you done? Oh shit, we better help them unpack. Which one's got the kitchen stuff in it? Why? Maybe. It's an anniversary present. Brought back memories of a bad divorce. No, 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 no. It's blatantly a Dorian Gray thing. And why does it mean we don't age all the time it ticks? <laughs> or it's Beth's biological clock. Ooh. Yes, that's why it's not ticking. Oh. <laughs> I've poked so many holes in so many condoms. Ow. It just probably just fell out of a moving box and they couldn't be asked to go back for it when they realised oh. the last owner was just late. Or, or maybe it is the last owner. <gasps> trapped in clock form, waiting to leave the house. Well, I had this story once. When I was little, something my granddad told me. He worked in this paper mill a bit after the war, and a friend of his was going through some rubble in the neighbourhood, and they found this little clock, kind of like that one. And they kept it, put it up on his shelf in his office. He'd wind up at the end of every day, and he was so proud because it kept perfect time despite being so battered. But a couple of days later, people started to say things were going missing, like they'd come into the office one day and they'd complain that all their pencils had gone from, like, their desks or all the soap in the bathroom had, like, melted away. And there was all this dust everywhere. But no one thought anything of it because, well, it was a paper mill. Then weirder things started to happen. Every day, for over a week, they'd come into the office and find that their tools had, like, rusted away. But not just rusted, but really decayed. Like they were a hundred years old. But people put it down to damp or the windows being kept open or... I mean, they, they couldn't explain it. So they carried on working. 
winding the clock. But then Sam never showed up one morning. They found his house and his, his wife was in tears because well, he never came home. But the door to his office was locked, so they kicked it in. All they found was dust. The room was bare. There was nothing. The furniture was gone and the walls and the floor were cracked and, and worn. In the middle of it all, there was still that clock, still ticking away. Then this superstitious guy just lost it one day and, like, <sighs> kept talking about this time eater, just like, just called it a chronophage. It just, like, grab you and, and feed on all the time you had left in your life. It would age you really painfully, and so your flesh would just turn to nothing but dust. He snatched the clock and he said he wanted to go away with it and destroy it. So he ran out of the mill and away. Granddad said that everything went back to normal after that. never forgot about Sam or the clock that called the chronophage. If the office was locked, how could Sam be in it? I, 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 mean, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, hey guys, I reckon the house was actually built around it. <laughs> right. We're the first people, well, me, the first person to look in the attic and find uh, I reckon it. maybe it's a time machine. Oh. Aren't all clocks time machines by definition? Oh. Aren't all clocks time oh, machines? Actually, oh. actually, oh. actually, oh. actually oh. Your, your missus has got a point. I, I that. always have a point. Never, she got really she never 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 she that down. Never get that down. Don't we? We've only got two chairs. Well, you don't think two chairs are enough? Uh, no, not two chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, we should. No, we should totally, totally make our own furniture. I'm really good at woodwork. Uh, I'm not even joking. I'm not. What kinds of no? I've seen you build exactly nothing ever. Remember, we're going to Nick's on Friday for dinner. Eh, no. Be why? Because I have boobs and you want boobs. We're going. Friends, no. Really starting to hate being single. Me? What? Why? I thought, I thought that was your thing. Yeah, you dirty slag. <laughs> Don't. But it was. But I mean, I'm nearly approaching thirty, and all my mates are buying bloody houses. And you're out in a shop. With us! Mate, don't worry. Take your time. Alright, mate, give it a few years and you'll be a rich bastard just lounging about in the infinity pool with the man of your dreams and a wee Cambodian baby. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, it's later quickly. Right, I think I'm gonna shoot on. Oh. <laughs> no, it's getting late. Wait, here you go. All the time in the world, mate. Can we not just chuck that? No, no, no. No, we might. We could. Yeah, yeah, just chuck it. Boo! Yeah. No, boo! Eric! Chuck it in the bin on your way out. Okay. See you guys. See you Good luck. Bye. See you later. Bye.